So I want to welcome you all to the Kretsu Forum Membership Informational Meeting for July 2022. Uh, my name is Brianna McDonald. I am the president for Kretsu Forum Northwestern Rockies. I am joined today on the call by Nathan McDonald. He is the chairman and also CEO and managing partner of Kretsu Capital. Uh, Greg Hill uh, is a membership director and supports us, supports our members, as well as Stephanie Hoff uh, is another membership director that uh, helps to support our members in the work that they're doing. Uh, so we're all here as support uh, for you on this call today. And if you do decide to join, we're all here to support you and your journey uh, in building out your portfolio into the early stage sector. So Kretsu Forum is an organization and a network uh, that has been around for more than 20 years, and we are serious investors looking at serious opportunities. This is not entertainment. I state this often in our meetings. This is not because you find something interesting. We can watch television and see interesting things or watch YouTube and see interesting things. This is really looking at and being on the forefront of technology, uh, looking at what people are creating, seeing how we can support and take our expertise and our skills to help be a part of that process and that innovation. It's not just a small group you join. We are the world's leading angel investment organization. Uh, and really, we enable our members to make diverse investments. We, we have an investment thesis that is about diversification, diversification through sector, diversification through stage. Although we do look at a little bit later stage companies, there will be companies that come in that we're supporting from our members that might be earlier and might be a seed funding round, but they have a substantial amount of traction and non-dilutive funding. So we'll take a look at that. Uh, but we really help to support in all stages of our process, uh, whether it be through the pre-screening, uh, in the committee stage, through deal screening, through our forums, due diligence, or syndicating these companies out to our other partner groups. And so when you join Koretsu Forum here in the Pacific Northwestern Rockies, you actually join the global community. You are able to attend global meetings if you wish. You are able to see their deal flow. We have different uh, technology solutions to help you do that. Uh, you're able to access uh, these deals on a greater scale, as well as the connections uh, in those different regions as well, uh, which is all very beneficial. It's what allows us to be able to look at deals further than what we can see from our office or from our home, uh, because we have feet on the ground in different areas that we can actually say, hey, what's going on here? Can you go check it out? Can you go do a site visit? We support each other in that way, uh, the investors know how important it is to have feet on the ground in different locations. And that's what the benefit of this global organization is. So we have more than 60 chapters in 26 countries and four continents. We have more than 3000 members. And to date we have funded more than um, 2,400 companies. So there is a tremendous amount of funding across the board. Uh, there's different active chapters here across the globe. Uh, that said, for us here in the Northwest and Rockies, we tend to fo focus mainly on North America. Uh, red flags and confusion are two reasons why people uh, don't choose to invest in these opportunities. And when you start jumping ponds, uh, it just brings up a lot of questions, but uh, people do, do do that and diversify their portfolio as they wish. We help to support investors to do what they want with their portfolio and be there as a facilitator. So this is not just me saying I'm like the largest, most active, you know, group globally. You can look here at the league tables. Uh, this is for North America from 2019 and 2020. 2019, we were still meeting in the in-person format. 2020, we pivoted uh, to the virtual format, which you now have today. Our investors rolled up their sleeves right with us. Uh, we were most active, our second most active in early stage and most active in late stage in the U.S., but as we can see, even last year, it was a robust funding marketplace last year. Robust. Uh, Gangels did nearly a deal a day uh, globally. I, I can't compete with that. I can't, <laughs> I can't look at a deal a day. Uh, it's too many deals to do. But we did come in at nine globally and six across the U.S. And if you look at the different organizations that we sit on this list with, we are the only network. We are the only group. These are funds. And we, we compete with these funds. 
in terms of what our individual investors do. So we provide a different access uh, from the VC world to these opportunities to work with individuals who really want to support and bring the companies further. Last year, our investors put in uh, about 62 million into 93 opportunities. So we do track that data closely and are very proud of our members and the work that they do to help support the growth of technology. So here specifically in the Rockies and the Northwest regions, we have six regional chapters with, it's roughly about 400 investor members uh, between those different chapters. We have a strong focus on education and mentorship and I'll go through some of our cultural aspects here uh, in a couple slides. Like I said, in 2020, um, well, it was 2021, uh, we did 62 million into 93 companies. There's an error there. But yes, we've been the most active investment group uh, for quite some time. And when you join Koretsu Forum, uh, Northwest and Rockies, you have a whole team to support you in the work and you're doing. And this is, this is essential because there are different funders at different stages out there helping to support, uh, but having a team in place to make sure that you're able to get the due diligence expertise you need. You're able to help have the support with the facilitation. You're able to make sure that you're getting your questions answered in terms of membership. Just helps to make your experience overall uh, much more beneficial and it's why people stay uh, and stay engaged with our organization. So as I was stating, the fund funding marketplace is robust. Uh, it still continues to be robust even though we're hearing, you know, different rumblings in the market and VCs are pulling back and, you know, and reinvesting in just their portfolio companies. It's fine. It happens. Markets move in cycles. We should all be aware of this. Um, but there's a lot of opportunity to be had here for us as individuals, uh, which is titled as angels in this slide. But it's really individual investors. And we have helped to expand our family office network here uh, over the last decade as well. Uh, really being able to help us diversify and go later stage with our with our funding opportunities, making sure that we're with these companies in the B round and the C round. So when they decide to go institutional, we don't get diluted down as investors. Uh, we can be able to access those pr that private capital and make sure that the companies have the resources that they need to grow and protect our investment uh, as the companies continue to scale up. And the funding ecosystem is vast. And I will say, I need all of these people working together. So we work together with individuals. We work together with local angel groups, accelerators, funds, regional angel groups. We work with everyone because there are different funders at different stages that have different expertise, just like there's different CEOs. There's, there's founder CEOs, there's growth CEOs, there's CEOs that you bring into exit. There's different skill sets that are needed to be able to take a company to the fruition. The same thing is with the funders and the expertise that they provide at different stages. So with Koretsu Forum, really what differentiates us is that we work with all of these different groups, but they work in the earlier days. So in the pre-seed, early seed funding, ideation stage, MVP, um, building out you know, what their market could be. Uh, they need some traction by the time they get to us. They need some revenue. If it's a life science or clean tech deal, we need to see some non-dilutive funding in, some R&D support that's uh, helped them build out their product that's really getting them into market. And you saw that last week with the companies that came through. It really across the board in terms of where they were at, even though they might've been different sectors, they had experienced teams that had done this before. They had the R&D basically done that needed to get done to be able to get to market. They knew everything that was in place. And those are an example of the types of companies that we look at month over month. And that's also what gives us the ability to do some in-depth due diligence uh, in these opportunities to make sure that they fit our portfolio and what we're looking to add to it. Because the reality is, is that looking at these opportunities is fun and interesting. You can you can watch Shark Tank. You can you can see things that are going on in the early stage space and how it's sensationalized on TV. But it's really hard. It's hard work. But I find the most things that are hard in life are the most meaningful. Uh, and so I enjoy the hard things. Uh, but when you're going at it alone, 
chances are you're probably going to lose money unless you've got some really good expertise there. Uh, if you have someone who just is like, hey, I found this great deal, you should invest in it. Because I've heard this story so many times. And they're like, I don't like investing in the early stage space. I invested in that one company one time that my friend gave me and I lost all my money. And it's true. It can happen. We're investing in people. It's a risky space. Uh, that said, what makes it even harder is the lack of quality deal flow. Too many companies out there right now are raising capital that shouldn't. I'm very excited about the leveling out of the market a bit to weed out some of the fluff. And then in my presentation training I do on a bi-monthly basis, I also work very hard to make sure the companies are raising at the right time if they're even supposed to raise at all. Um, lack of due diligence expertise. We can be experts in a couple of things, but it's really hard to be an expert in everything. I mean, let's be real with each other. So by being able to leverage the network and a group of individuals who have expertise in finance and sales and IP, uh, whatever it might be, and putting that together into a due diligence effort can really support. And then being able to really have quality negotiating to make sure the deal's fair and balanced. These deals, these these safe notes and other things that have come across the board have not been fair and balanced for investors for the last couple of years. So it's, it'll be great to see that hopefully working out soon. But the thing that all three of these things alone cost is time and resources. And time is actually our most valuable asset we have as investors. So at Koretsu Forum, we really work to provide a solution for individuals like yourself who are looking to diversify their portfolio, uh, create an impact, want to continue to grow and have that self-development and get an ROI at the same time. And so we help to do this uh, and have here in the Pacific Northwest um, for more than 15 years. And we've been supporting our investor members over that period of time uh, with our team, with our processes. Uh, they're very structured. Uh, making sure that the companies and the investors get the most out of it. The newest addition that we have brought to the team over this last year is Dealum. So we launched this full scale uh, in January with our members. It took nine months of building it out prior to that uh, to be able to really support our members. But anybody who joins uh, Koretsu Forum, you might have gotten partial access if you're on the call today and not a member. So you can see some things. But full access into DLM provides full access into our pipeline to see where everything is at in the process. If you're a part of a committee, you'll see those uh, companies come through the committee phase, deal screening, the ones that are approved, the ones that are coming to forums, where they're at in due diligence, what's happening there, and then syndicating out. You're also able to track your own portfolio within here. So you can move off of Excel. You're, it's a comprehensive platform to really help support all your investing needs. Uh, it has all the information there to help support the, the starting stages of due diligence, term sheets. We upload the presentation videos from the companies. Even if you can't make a meeting, you always have full access into the process and being able to see everything that's going on. In addition, uh, we, as I said, we focus a lot on education. Uh, there's a lot to continue learning, learning from each other. Um, learning from each other's backgrounds and experiences, that peer-to-peer -peer learning environment. And so for me, my big challenge that I have taken on, uh, having a virtual membership organization now where I don't meet a lot of the people in real life, I'm hoping to meet some of you in person in Expo uh, here coming up in August. Uh, but I talk about the four pillars. Each, each month I pick one. So this month I picked engagement. But communication, education, and perseverance. And these four pillars for us are really one thing I need any prospective members to take a look at and make sure that you're willing to engage, you're willing to have open, honest communication, not just with my Koretsu team, but with companies that you may be interested in. You do have a desire for education and maybe even helping uh, to support the greater uh, membership uh, in a thought leadership, something that you might be able to, to share with the group and then really to persevere because investing in these companies is hard. It takes hard work. It takes dedication. Uh, it takes good communication and support uh, to be able to see success. 
And so those four pillars are just, they're critical to who our membership is and how they show up in the community. Our gift to you is the personal development and really focusing on different areas. So as you saw this month, we talked a bit about clean tech investing prior to that. And all of these videos are available on Koretsu TV is a private platform we have. So you never miss anything and you can always go back and review. Uh, we saw clean tech investing. We had a blockchain discussion in June, go to market strategies, and it goes on up. Uh, at the early part of the year, to conclude the year, we're going to be talking about AR, VR, and AI in September, life science investing in October, technology investing in uh, November, and then exploring IP, all different types of IP, whether not just the hard IP, we look at the patents, but there's so much more than that. There's copyrights, there's trademarks, there's trade secrets. How do you actually diligence those uh, and making sure that personal growth and development uh, continues to take place because there's always more we can we can learn about this space and how we can help our companies uh, be more successful. In addition to the education and support, we also facilitate Mindshare forums. So the Mindshare is the portion of the meeting that is the closed session where the companies go on hold. We have a small private groups that we've created of about eight investors each. They meet on a monthly basis, usually the first Thursday of each month uh, from 3.30 to 5 p.m., so just 90 minutes. But you're able to work through what's going on with your pipeline, what's going with your current portfolio uh, in a confidential environment. Talk about the challenges you're having. Talk about the wins you're having. You know, when we have a successful exit, the last place we're probably going to do with our neighborhood barbecue would be like, I just got a TEDx return. You know, I mean, you want to be able to celebrate these things with people who understand and know what you're doing. And uh, and so being able to have those like minded individuals and build relationships within the group, even though we're in a virtual environment uh, is essential. So. We currently have uh, five Mindshare forums up and running. They have a tremendous uh, success rate and our investors who participate love them. We're gonna be doing a special Mindshare forum event at our expo on August 10th for those participants who are engaged and involved. And I look forward to continuing to build this out and support any new members coming in uh, to be able to build relationships with existing members and really have that peer-to-peer -peer learning environment. So um, just really quickly on becoming a Kretsu Forum member, we need to make sure there's a core value alignment. So aside from the communication, the education, uh, the perseverance and engagement within our meetings, we need to make sure that you're a trusted and honest, respected member of the business community and really being able to be a contributor of your time, wisdom and expertise. Uh, we do have an online application that we would ask you to complete, and we do ask you to be thoughtful about your answers, uh, letting us know your background and expertise. I've had people just like post in their LinkedIn profile, like it doesn't, it doesn't work very well. So just be thoughtful with your answers. We're trying to figure out how you fit into the greater group and how uh, your background and expertise will really add value to what we have here. And then we have our personalized membership onboarding. You meet with me, we go through all of your goals uh, for the year. We make sure that you're able to achieve those goals. Uh, there's also check-ins that occur uh, throughout the year to make sure that we're on track uh, because everybody has reasons why they join. And we will welcome you to the largest, most active investment group globally. So just in closing here, before I open it up to some questions, uh, this is a peer-to-peer -peer, uh, learning environment. We have Mindshare forums. We have our Mindshare breakouts in the meetings. It's really meant to support one another, and that's why people show up. We do have uh, technology solutions uh, available to you, not just through DLM. We have our Koretsu Connect app. Uh, we also have discounted, significantly discounted access to PitchBook data. Do not go to PitchBook and sign up. For their mailing list, you will disqualify yourself, but we do have that available and that starts in November. Um, due diligence, facilitation, support, uh, making sure we're able to do those deep dives in a, in a timely manner and, and be able to make those decisions about investment. Uh, we have a lot of proprietary deal flow, as I mentioned. Our term sheet committee met yesterday and worked with the companies and provided feedback on their term sheets to make sure they're fair and balanced. And then we syndicate our companies out 
because the companies need to raise all of their capital to be able to go out, achieve their milestones and get to that next valuation inflection point, which helps to benefit the greater good. And so really working with our 29 different partner groups across the country uh, in doing that and looking at diverse deals. Mm -hmm.